Hello there guys, this is Nunu. I hope everyone is doing well. Today another video regarding macOS Sierra tips and tricks. Uh, today we are talking about five of them, starting with the first one with Safari. Let's open Safari. Let's uh, open a few tabs here. Three. It's okay. It's enough. Let's open my mouse. Works okay because it's almost dying. Let's put here Mac Rumors. On the second one, let's put Cult of Mac. And on the third tab, let's put uh, 9 to 5. Now, you are looking at these uh, tabs, okay? And by mistake, you close one of those, okay? And you don't remember, uh, you know, how to get it back. Uh, you don't remember anymore. So with a simple key uh, combination, and it is shift command T, you reverted the situation and you have again your tab. Now, worst case scenario, you completely quit on this red button, your Safari. And this is bad, but with the same combination, shift command T, Again, you have the three tabs that you are that you had previously. Okay, so Mac Rumors, Cult of Mac, and Night to Five. Go ahead, uh, write these commands, this this key combination on your notes. If you lose any any of your tabs, you can revert the situation. So second tip, this is very nice. Is picture in picture a new feature on mac os sierra it was available on on ios but now we have on mac let's go to my channel and uh, as you know youtube we don't have that feature enabled we have on other sites but on youtube uh, if you go this is my channel the last video that i put it it was ipad as an external display go ahead there are lots and lots of tips of my on my channel uh, go ahead let's start on this let's go ahead and click on this one it's and as you can see uh, the options, sorry, the options that you have, it's subtitles, quality, uh, extended like this, extended view, airplay and full screen. Now, if you right click twice on your mouse, one, two, you have the option here to activate picture in picture mode. So let's zoom out and click to see what happened. Now you have YouTube playing as picture in picture. You still have, have your web browser open. You can go ahead, see your articles, continue to see the video, can drag it to the corners. This is the default on the Mac. Okay, you can only put it on the corners, but a small tip, if you click command and you can drag whatever wherever you want, okay, on the middle, on the side, wherever you feel like it, okay? You can, of course, resize it. And this is very nice to have in YouTube, on YouTube, okay? Again, if you want to revert, click, and you are again on the YouTube website. Let's minimize. We are done with the tips with Safari. Let's go to the third one. Now, on this third one, uh, uh, I'll make here a small, a small pause because uh, I'm going to talk to the new guys to the Mac. Uh, it is possible, as you know, to take screen shots of your uh, desktop. Okay, so uh, if you want a full, a full sh a screenshot of your desktop, the key combination is Shift Command Three. Okay and you have it here, okay, a full, a full one. This is the screenshot of your desktop. If you want only a selected area, you, you go ahead and shift command four, and you have this little, little arrow, go ahead, select, and here you have the picture. Go ahead, little mouse work for a little more, okay? Now, let's erase this last one. This is only for 
give a little demonstration on what we are talking about. By default, macOS takes these pictures on the format called PNG. Okay, let's go ahead, zoom. Portable network, network graphics, PNG, and the files are huge, huge. So uh, I uh, changed to JPEG. The quality is the same, okay, but the size is very, very small. I will tell you how to do it. And we are going to mess with, not mess, it's a little terminal command that is not going to mess anything in your computer. We are only changing the extension from PNG to JPEG in order to have smaller files. I will paste the command here and I will leave this on the, on the description of the video, okay? This is the command that we are going to put, okay? The default is PNG, okay? But we are going to change to G, JPEG, so JPG, okay? You click enter, zoom out, we can quit terminal and let's go ahead and again uh, take another full screenshot of the desktop. So shift command three and compare the second one. Let's open it. Here it is. Okay. And informations. And as you can see, we have a JPEG format and the image it's not even one megabyte almost but not even one megabyte and if we compare the other one it was a PNG okay PNG and it had 7.3 so as you can see with the JPEG you can take seven pictures to reach this kind of size okay so I hope it is useful to your hard drive <laughs> space. Let's erase this. I don't like to have my desktop with many things. Now, this was the third one. Let's go to the fourth. The new feature on macOS Sierra, it is Siri, okay? We are used to Siri on iOS, but now we have it on macOS Sierra. When you install it, you have here the dock icon of the Siri. I don't have it anymore. I took it away. I have it here on my menu bar. Okay. And if I want, I click it. But I don't, don't like to do this. Okay. I prefer to have a key combination. By default, the Mac has the same, almost the same combination that you have for, for Spotlight. For Spotlight, you click Command and Space correct and you have spotlight if you want and I already changed so I will not do but I will tell you how to to do it by default to activate series with a key combination you long press at the same time command and space so it's the same keys but for the spotlight you click command and space for Siri, you long press both at the same time. It can be a little bit confusing. So for me, it was. So I've changed that. It is a little bit even here on your system preferences. You go to Siri, okay? And you can go for shortcuts and you choose what you want, okay? By default, it is this one, but I have changed it to control space okay and now let's zoom out here okay zoom out if i click okay okay you cannot see but if i click command uh, space i have spotlight if i click control space i have siri okay so another tip for keep things simple the last one uh, this is, of course, very simple, but guys, I don't know if you are uh, used to click two times on the space 
when you're writing on your iPhone and you have that period, okay, to the next paragraph, you have that, that option also, it is an even option to uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the Mac. So, uh, for example, uh, I have here text edit, let's go ahead, let's put here, this is a test. If I click, let's go ahead and put here, if I click two times, on the spacebar, I have two spaces, correct? So let's go ahead. Well, I cannot, and it's not necessary to do this, but let's go ahead, let's go to system preferences, let's go to keyboard, and let's go to text. And as you can see, there is a, something here new. You can, it's disabled by default, but if you enable, you can add a period by the, when clicking two times on on the spacebar, okay? So let's try it. Let's do this, okay? Again, this is a test. Let's increase here. Test, okay? Two times on the spacebar. Okay, there you have the period. And this is nice. Uh, it saves some time. So guys, these are the tips that I have to show you today. Uh, there are lots of, lots of them, okay? But these five is the first one that I'm showing. Uh, for the new guys, go ahead if you want to see more content like this or improve your Mac performance, go, uh, go ahead, check my channel, subscribe, uh, and you'll be notified of new videos. I'll, I will launch a video uh, perhaps uh, once a day or uh, I don't know twice a week depending on my workflow but go ahead put your thumbs up if you like this kind of content and for now this is all um, I will see you on the next one bye bye